here we are today at Wadalina. Uh, this is part of our Adaptive Farming Systems project. We're looking at how farmers and landholders are managing their natural resources, adapting to a changing climate and changing markets. My name's Daniel Mathy. I farm with my family on 2,400 hectares uh, northeast of Holbrook. Uh, we run a cow-calf operation, calving 2,000 head this year. The pastures were pretty run down. There was a bit of phalaris. Uh, the phosphorus levels were very low. We had coal wool levels that were less than 10 in a lot of the country. We started um, putting on super and then we sort of increased the rate over a few years and that really increased the carrying capacity of the country. The management system here I've seen change from producing steers for a feedlot, so selling the end of the season, so some years that'll be a lot earlier than others. It's changed now to finishing on feed in small paddocks or containment areas, drought lots in dry conditions. Uh, that's enabled us to gain uh, the advantages of utilising our own genetics for longer. Uh, we're not locked into this system, but uh, this is what's been working for us the last few years, particularly in dry years, uh, instead of rushing to sell our stock. When it, if the season finishes, instead we can opportunistically buy in stock and finish our own to sell direct to the supermarket. Finishing our cattle, like sending all our cattle off fat, we're able to even out the fluctuations in the seasons. When everyone else is panicking selling cattle, you can buy cattle. For optimal plant production, uh, it's important that plant has all the nutrients uh, that it requires. And as we're taking off product by selling steers, uh, we're replacing that product through the application of super. And also farming is a acidifying process. So the application of lime uh, is to ameliorate that. And if you've got them contained, um, you can feed the exact diet to what their requirements are. Feeding the stock to finish them, we don't panic sell them, and uh, we can get a premium for the product because it's fat. The biggest risk is um, the variation in the climate and the price you get for your product, like market variation. There's dry years and then there's wet years and there's dry autumns and dry springs and anything that's happening now, it seems to have all happened before. We feel that we can manage that with the system we have at the moment. Our goals for the business are to have a, a strong workforce, a strong staff, so good, good team spirit, uh, cooperation, and profitability and sustainability. Uh, sustainability is very critical into the decisions we make. Uh, it's easy to make profit for two or three good years and flog everything out, but we want in it for the long haul, so making some compromises in the short term, taking stock off paddocks earlier. When we came here there was a lot of eroded gullies, there was a lot of um, areas with no trees. We planted a lot of trees, especially earlier in the piece, fenced off a lot of gullies and tried to get a lot more perennial pastures in and that's an ongoing thing to um, increase the productivity and protect the ground cover. Wybelina is a great example of a property that's remaining profitable, looking forward with their family goals, but also managing their environmental impact really efficiently. Maintaining the environment uh, here on the farm is absolutely critical. Uh, we want it to be here for generations to come, not just about a quick buck here and now. So we found that a lot of the soil on this property is highly erodible. So a lot of uh, gullies, we have fenced off and planted trees. That also comes back to maintaining ground cover in the paddocks as well, so we don't get new areas of erosion. Goals of the business is to be able to pass the farm on to the next generation in better condition than it is now. Yeah, it's a wonderful feeling, I think, to wake up each morning and go to work outside, seeing the beautiful landscape around us, being able to work with my family and uh, looking forward to potentially future generations being able to farm here too, if they want to.